Okay. Good. Steve, uh, we had our first class last night. Uh, it was great. A lot of fun. You know, time flies by. I was uh, a great students. They had uh, strong backgrounds and a variety of companies, very diverse group. Uh, and I'm glad we did that uh, uh, hidden assets exercise that we, we, we evolved for strategic doing. It really brought out a lot of the uh, skills and, and, and capabilities and interests of, of people that you wouldn't normally uh, see. What was, your, what was your view on that? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I, we have a really accomplished group of students and it worked really especially well. So the notion is that, uh, you know, we used a thing called the iceberg exercise where we asked people to describe in the top of the iceberg, the part that you normally see above the water, what are the skills and things you bring routinely to your job every day? But a lot of who we are lives below the surface of that, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of things that we are passionate about, we don't get to use in our daily work, but if we knew more about them, we'd be able to bring them to play potentially in an agile-like project. So our exercise last night was asking people to sort of describe what is, is on the top of the iceberg and above the waterline for you in terms of your natural skills, capabilities, the things you bring to your job every day. Mm -hmm. But what are some of the hidden things below the line that you love to do? And we found some amazing discoveries last night. We found uh, an awful lot of musical yeah, connection, love, right? Yeah. A lot of people involved in music. We had a baker, we had a performer, we had people in uh, tech land and uh, entrepreneurism. We had people who do a variety of wonderful things that yeah. they're not necessarily getting to do every day for their jobs. So the whole notion of the hidden assets is how can a leader learn to bring that knowledge to bear in the team dynamic in agile work because teams in agile are often uh, pulled together for brief purposes they disband and then they reconstitute yep. in another way so a leader of an agile team needs to understand if he or she is really giving everybody on the team the best opportunity to participate in that phase of a project and one way to do that is to know what lies below the surface in terms of passions, capabilities, and uh, extraneous uh, uh, knowledge that can yep. come to bear to solve the problem. So that exercise last night just was a very quick way for us to open up the conversation around that and show the power of getting to know people at, at a deeper level because agile leadership is really about including people, getting people to do the best yep. that they can and bring their passions to work. Yep. And that exercise, I think, helped to reveal last night what it is we have below the surface and it was absolutely fascinating. Yeah, and it's it's contrary to the way things used to be where we just, you know, we didn't want you to mix personal and, and business, you know, we wanted to separate those two, but you really can't nowadays, especially as people are working from all different places. But, um, you know, I was at some point, I thought we, we might be able to start an orchestra here with all these uh, six or seven people. <laughs> well, who, certainly a band, right? We a had band, enough, yes, a band. So um, I'm happy the agile and, uh, HR, yeah, HR band. Yeah, yeah, but I know we uh, start an orchestra, but I definitely a yeah. band. It was uh, a lot and of it, musical connections, and it makes me think. You know, the, the teams I've managed and the people who are listening. You know, we 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 kill ourselves because we're not using all the capabilities at our disposal, right? Because we're not looking at the whole person, and we can see. You now, you know, on the surface, it may not seem that musicians um, can, uh, you know, can in a business case, but musicians are great at storytelling. They're great at engaging people, uh, that emotional connection, which a lot of managers and leaders don't have, you know, they, uh, I'm, I'm included, you know, you write something up, you think it's going to be phenomenal and then no one reacts to it because there's no emotion behind it. Whereas I think a musician, a songwriter can, can, can do things that touch people's heart and can really engage people to respond to you. And I think that's really critical. Yeah, the, 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 so I think a big part of today's leadership really is as a leader, it's so critically important that you can convey a compelling vision yeah. for the people that work with you and for you. And the way to do that, I think, the pathway to do that is through effective storytelling. How can you use yeah. the power of storytelling? And, uh, you know, speaking as one who is a, a musician myself with uh, some songwriting experience, I feel that uh, that skill helps a lot in being able to draw people to a cause, give people an understanding of a circumstance and then yep. get them to engage with trying to help you to solve whatever that issue is. So I think those skills are critically important. We have somebody last night who's a baker, yep. right? Somebody yep. uh, in class who loves to bake. Well, that, the act of baking is a grand experiment, isn't it? Yep. You don't know what you've got till you get yep. to the end. And so the opportunity to learn from that, and, and that's a very agile-like principle, this notion of experimenting but constantly checking on how things are going. 
And the, the third person last night was sort of somebody with uh, with background in jazz yeah. uh, music, right? Yeah. So the in, improvisation, the ability and, and working in a team and taking what's offered. Yeah. Those types of things are all very parallel skill sets to what the agile leader needs to bring to the workplace. And it was wonderful last night to make those connections yeah. and uh, hear the students introduce each other and, uh, rec and recognize them for the contributions that they're making. It was great. Yeah. Absolutely. So I can't wait to uh, see what the uh, next 13 sessions uh, bring. As long as you don't ask me to sing or play an instrument, I'm going to be happy. Believe me, I'll never do that. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> Stick to what you're good at. All right. Good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. See you next time.